And I just wanted to do a quick disclosure. I was not given this, uh, any of these products. I wasn't paid to make these videos. You gotta start disclosing anything that you're given for free. Don't let YouTube screw you. It's time to stop! Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video here to show the differences between the Amazon Basics and the official Nintendo Switch wired network adapter. Currently in this part of the video, I'm showing that I'm using a wired connection and using the Nintendo Switch official adapter. And I'm gonna be doing three tests with each of the devices. And a lot of people often try to use, uh, try to get the official Nintendo licensed one just because it's licensed and it's Nintendo. And honestly, it's a little out of price compared to the ones that work perfectly fine, as you'll see in this video. Um, sometimes often better. So this is the official uh, Nintendo Switch licensed uh, Ethernet adapter made by Hori. Um, this usually retails for around $24.99. And as you can see, it's getting pretty good uh, download speeds, upload speeds, and whatnot. The main reason people use these is for stability rather than having uh, sometimes a intermittent Wi-Fi connection. So you can see here I got 30 megs down and 3.4 megabits per second upload. So it's all right, but it's not the best in the world. And for the price, you should definitely be getting a lot better speed than what you're getting. So let's give the Amazon Basics one a try and we'll come right back. All right, so here I have plugged in the Amazon Basics uh, Ethernet wired adapter. Now, you could usually pick this up on Amazon renewed for around four or five dollars less, but usually it's around 15 bucks, ten dollars cheaper than what the official Nintendo Switch licensed one is. So we're going to go into settings and go back down to internet and make sure that it's connected properly. And there it is, wired connection. Just to ensure that it's connected. Because you always want to make sure that it's uh, established a wired connection after you change out the Ethernet um, adapters or when you go from Wi Fi. Like if you remove the switch from the dock and then put it back into the dock when you have a Wi-Fi connection, you always want to make sure that you uh, that you reconnect it back to wireless. So here you see 30 megabits per second down with a 6 megabits per second upload. That's a little bit higher than what it was before. We're going to do a second one. And like I said, this just the amount of so this one I got 7.6 megabits upload and that's that's even better than it was before way miles better than the official one um, and I said the main the main thing between these is that the price point is much cheaper so here we have 34.2 down and 7.2 up and that's pretty damn good considering how I got half of that on the official one, and this one is the Amazon Basics for $10 cheaper, um, a quarter of the price if you get it renewed. That's that's way worth it, way more worth it than spending the extra the extra change on the um, on the official one. Not to mention, uh, a lot of people on Amazon like to overprice things just because they're the licensed edition. So. Uh, Go ahead, save some money. Definitely check out the licensed uh, or the non-licensed Amazon Basics one. I'll have a link to it in the video below. Here's my friend code. If you happen to play any Switch games and want to maybe add me, uh, go right ahead. But as always, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, so hit subscribe and like.